Okay, what we're going to look at next is the fish cakes with a nice tossed salad. While we're looking at the simple dish is fish, finely chopped onions, fish sauce for flavour, garlic, chilli, some salt and pepper, and we're going to bind it with the egg whites. Other ingredients you could use is coriander if you can get some fresh stuff and put it in there. You might want to put some bush fruits in, the, in there as well. Again, those limes, anything that's bitter. I tell you now, the bush apples are fantastic with this, uh, with this fish cake dish. I've made that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is a simple salad, which is going to consist of cucumber, tomatoes and onion and lettuce. Simple process. Thanks, Richard. No worries, Steve. Okay, with the lettuce, you need to just tear it a little bit more to bite-sized pieces. The other important thing about using lettuce after you washed it is to drain the water off. So you simply squeeze it, I'll squeeze it into the bowl, you just take that excess water out. Okay, the next thing we do is cut up cucumber. And normally I cut it up into four. The cucumber's been washed already, so is the tomatoes. Scissors action again, cut the cucumber. All right, we have nice tomatoes here. We cut them in half and also take the eye out of the tomato. And I like to dice them. Then cut them in half again. So it's nice and chunky. Simple dicing. Tossing with your hands. And a nice onion on top. I'm using a brown onion. A better onion is if you get the Spanish onion the purple coloured one, so ideal for salad. Okay, there you have a nice mixed salad, nice and fresh, that'll go well with the fish cakes. The simple dressing is a vinaigrette. All that is, is equal amounts of oil, equal amounts of vinegar. Just mix them together, stir with a fork, and see what happens. It starts to emulsify, in other words, it mixes together nicely. You may put some salt into your dressing and some pepper. Garlic can go in there as well. You can also put some mustard in there if you like as well. But that's a simple vinaigrette salad dressing. And that gets poured over just before you serve the salad up. Okay, so we'll pour that on a bit later when the fish cakes are ready. Okay, now that we've got the salad all ready, we're gonna go on to the fish cakes. The first thing we need to do is to get our electric frying pan ready because the fish cakes are going to be shallow fried. We need to put a liberal amount of oil in there. When you're shallow frying, it means you're cooking the food halfway up the size of the food, which I'll show you later. We've got enough oil in there. Now we turn the frying pan onto number 10 and get it hot. The other thing you need is a piece of paper to absorb the fat after you've cooked the fish cakes and a pair of tongs this time. Okay, the favourite fish is stingray that uh, ladies love to use, and we're gonna use a nice piece of snapper. We usually hand cut it or we pound it, but today I'll show you how to hand cut it, and I've already got a, a base ready to go. Take the piece of fish, make sure you wash it, make sure there's no bones whatsoever, they're all removed out of it. Sharp knife. Okay, once you've diced it, just run the knife straight through it. And you've got to, chunky style fish cake. Just with that scissors action again, keep your fingers on the tip of the knife and rotating the back end of the knife. As I said, I've had some prepared. Some of the ladies also like to boil their fish a little bit first and then pound it up in a bowl. It's the same type of process. You need to use your hands on this. Mix the meat up a little bit first. Put your onions in. The onions are very finely chopped. You need to layer some salt and pepper. And this is how I usually season this one. Just a bit. Same as with the pepper. A good sprinkle. The other thing it's important that goes in there is the garlic. And I'll put a good spoon of garlic into this one to give it some flavour. Maybe two because that's quite a fair bit of fish we got there. It's about a kilo of pasted fish. The other one is fish sauce. Now that is salty. That's why I limited the amount of salt that I put in there because we're going to use the fish sauce for flavoring. Generally, it's about 
one tablespoon or two tablespoons of fish sauce. The other thing you could use also, if you haven't got fish sauce, soy sauce. All right, two spoons of uh, chilli paste. If you don't have chilli paste, you can use the powder. Now, when you're using the powder, cut it back. I only use one spoon. The powder is really strong. Okay, with a wooden spoon, just mix it through. My oil is starting to get hot. Now, once we've got that mixed in first, we put the egg whites in, and that'll make it more sloppy. A little bit messy. The yellow part gives it a different, different type of texture, okay, with the yolks. So you just use the whites for binding. Okay, here it comes together nice and easier now with the egg whites. Now, if you find your mixture's a little bit sloppy, what you can do is put a little bit of corn flour into it. Just a sprinkle. That'll absorb the moisture straight away. It absorbs it. And then it's starting to mould back into shape nicely. OK, just let it rest for a second or two. And then we'll mould them out into little patties. What I've got to check first is the temperature of the oil. That's the most important now. What we do is just put a little bit in there, see if it's hot enough. See how it's starting to sizzle? That's what we need. We've got our corn flour to coat the fish cakes. OK, we can start making some. You want to make some? Yep. Flatten them down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Into the pan. We'll do a couple more and uh, have a try. Just make sure that fish cake's nice, evenly coated. And notice how shallow frying, it's halfway up the fish cake. Just carefully turn them over. Look at that beautiful brown colour. That's what you're looking for there. Both sides like that and the fish cakes will be cooked. With the fry pan, it's on number 10 constantly for this cooking process. See how that sorbent paper takes off yep. the extra oil. Liberal amount of dressing on there. Give it a little mix through. Beautiful. Need some lemons, cut some wedges. Back to the fish cakes, they're ready. Oh, look at that nice golden brown colour. See, that's cooked nicely yeah. through. Nice and firm. And there we have it, some nice fresh fish cakes with a nice tossed salad. A nice simple meal, good lunchtime meal. You can bake it or fry it, never know till you try it. You can even cook it up in a stew. Just roll them in a flour and fry them on the stove or chuck them in the fire and cook them on the coals. Serve with rice and a panic in the tea, some chips and salad anyway will do.